In this video, we will be looking at how to integrate a Prezi Genome Flow Sensor into your experimental setup. You will need PTFE tubing, flangeless fittings and ferrules, the flow sensor itself, and its power cord. Take out your flow sensor. Note the orientation of its plus and minus ends. The plus end is marked by the cut corner for ease of reference. We'll need to prepare some PTFE tubing to connect the sensor with other devices. Cut some to your desired lengths. Also take out a flangeless fitting and ferrule. Slip both components onto the tubing and ensure both have their narrow ends pointing inwards. Remove the caps on the flow sensor's fluid ports and screw in the PTFE tubing. While the tubing is the same for each side, the flow rate's sign depends on which end is the outlet. In this example, we are preparing a positive flow rate, so the tubing on the plus end should serve as the outlet. Once your tubing is connected, take out the flow sensor power cord and note its ends. The female end goes to the flow sensor and the male to the pressure controller. After the flow sensor is connected, we'll still want to check that it was recognized. In the pressure controller home screen, go to General Settings, About, and Check. Your flow sensor model should be displayed on the appropriate channel, and you may then proceed to calibrating your device.